Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the uh, CoolPad Legacy right here and I'm actually su really surprised with this device from Metro by T-Mobile. Now, a lot of the, the features on here are really nice including the 1.8 GHz octa-core processor which is actually surprisingly better than I actually anticipated. We also get 32GB of ROM, 32 of RAM, and some really nice front and back cameras with a huge display on this device. Now I'm going to go over some really cool features with you and some tips and tricks to get you started on how to, you know, like master your cool pad legacy. So let's get started. One of the first features I want to show you is pretty simple and pretty easy, but it helps you mute your device when you want to actually silence your device from incoming phone calls messages or anything like that so you can see I do have my Nagby case and I did do a video on this case so make sure you stay locked in and check out the full catalog of videos that I made just for you but to mute your device you would just put your top the top volume rocker and the power button at the same time simultaneously and you can see right here it's actually all the way on vibrate now what you would do is click this button right here to get to your alarm volume ringtone volume which you can lower if you so desire media volume and call volume is all right here so you can adjust all those volume settings to your personal preference now this is pretty much one that is with all phones double tap the power button to quickly access your camera a lot of people don't know but a lot of phones come with after shot editing so let's go ahead and take a picture and then let's just go ahead click the picture and click this edit button right here and um, you're gonna be able to adjust the picture to your liking right and then go right here and you can adjust the light so let's say you took a, a, a picture that was really dark you can immediately brighten that up with this light option right here and then you can actually save the photo you could also mess around with the colors as well and the pop so I thought that was actually a pretty cool feature you also do get exposure right here contrast which is actually pretty cool white lens highlights which is definitely sick shadows which is nuts and a whole lot more and now when you're inside of security and location go to lock screen preferences you could add your username c butler and you could also show lockdown option so basically what that does is display power button option that turns off smart lock fingerprint unlocking and notifications for the lock screen so all you would have to do is hold that power button and then you can see right here you could click that lockdown feature and so basically that just locks down you know your your phone really quickly so you could just lock it immediately and everything like that you can see my um, my name is there let me just show you how that would work okay so we're gonna hold that button now you see lockdown when I try to enter my fingerprint you can see it's not working whatsoever I just locked down the phone so that actually keeps it from actually like remembering the password like fingerprint or facial recognition which is kind of like an extra security feature if you want to check your battery percentage um, all you would have to do is click these three dots right here at the top because before you would just click here but it doesn't let you see it so you would actually go right down here you could see the screen on time full charge and then you go ahead click here battery usage and you'll be able to see um, the battery activity. You could also go to Battery Manager, and Battery Manager will detect when apps drain battery, so you could just turn that on. Now, when you're inside of text messaging, go to the right hand side and click Settings right here, and you're gonna be able to see right here that you have Advanced. Now, when you go right here, you could see all of the options right here, but um, you're gonna go down right here, down. And um, I'm looking for one of the features that lets you um, see when people are typing and sending you messages. But this only works when you're actually, um, you know, when the other person has Metro PCS as well. So inside of the settings option for uh, messaging, you just go to chat. And then right here it says advanced messaging, uh, share larger files, get uh, message, read receipts and see when someone is replying so that's like the the live typing feature um you could also see right here show when the receiver has read the message which is definitely pretty cool 
and a lot of the times people want the best quality images possible so when you're sending messages you can also click best available or just original which is definitely going to enhance the photo and make it just like how you took it sick of hearing the same notification well you get a different variety of notifications right here inside of here so I'll just leave it at the default one now if you go to network and internet and go to advanced you do see that we do have the Wi-Fi calling feature meaning you can actually take phone calls just using uh, your Wi-Fi to save data when you click display you do click um, advanced and turn on this feature called ambient display new notifications it'll wake your screen when you receive a new notification so that's actually pretty cool and of course in display you can change your, your theme to dark you can also get the screensaver in which you can make it a clock or and or colors a frame picture or photo table or something from the Google Photos in addition to having facial recognition you do get smart lock which includes trusted face on body detection trusted places and voice match so you can actually improve face matching right here um, and just you know you could have that smart lock feature so you can adjust um, increase the facial recognition feature in security and location you do have screen screen pinning so basically what it is it's let's say I was in Instagram and I just held down these two buttons at the exact same time and um, right here boom and it says uh, let me see on oh, we got to click the most recent apps button and then go all the way to the top click this button right here and then it says this will lock your screen and keep it that way so you click got it so now if I try to hit back or anything like that or you know like if you're giving your phone to a child and you just want them on one page, they can't get out of here unless they hold these two buttons, which will actually deactivate the, sc the screen, screen pin feature. One really cool feature is that when you go into system and about phone and click multiple users, you can actually change it so that you're a guest right here. So you can just click the guest option and then hand your phone off to like a kid or like um you know your girlfriend or something like that so you could just be like okay you want to see my phone here you go babe and then you know if you're on look at see all the apps that i had previously had on my device right here are actually you know it's just default the way it had came right out of box so i could just be like oh yeah you want to check um you know my messages here you go and there's no messages you can see right here nothing's here um, so like, you know, that's kind of a cool feature if you want to give this to like a kid or just, so all you have to do is just hit settings again, go to system right here and then go to advanced multiple users and then just go right back to remove the guest and then you're going to be right back where you left off. So it's just going to take a minute for everything to load and then you can see I'm right back where I left off. Another cool feature is that you do get the Metro Play thing right there. But what you want to do is go into System. Um, let me see. And then you would go into Accessibility. And then you would go into Remove Animations. And basically what's just going to happen is that you're going to be able to get super quick um, speeds now right here. You can see there's, it's lightning quick. You can see um, let me know if you guys have any more tricks or tips or um, anything like that with this device. Uh, I definitely think it's pretty cool. You could also do a screenshot like this with the, with the volume rocker and the power button. Just hold those two at the same time and you can actually get a screenshot. And it actually lets you save it right here. Or you could also get it at the top when you go to your notification shade and you can get normal screenshots. Regional screenshots is when you could pick and focus on where you want to screenshot and then long screenshots where it takes a whole page for the screenshot. But um, that's pretty much it. It's your boy Serrano. If you found this video helpful in any way possible to you, make sure you hit that like button if you found it helpful. And I definitely appreciate every last one of you. You guys are the real MVPs. I definitely appreciate 
um, you guys for staying locked in and checking out the videos. Make sure you stay locked in for more videos just like this, but I definitely appreciate every last one of you. Um, you guys are the real MVPs. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I'll, t I'll check you guys out on the next video crew, but it's your boy Serrano, and I hope you guys found this video helpful in any way possible. If you did, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the ne next video. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending on where you are, have a great night. Later, crew.